Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, by way of introduction, David Stewart is my name. I will be your auctioneer this afternoon. Um, I'm attended by several members of the very talented iTrack real estate team. I can't see them all in the crowd, but they're scattered around here, ready and willing to help you with your bidding this afternoon. And proudly and collectively, we represent iTrack real estate. A sensational warm afternoon here and a welcome on behalf of our vendors to purchase what is a sensational opportunity here at number 54 Chandra Avenue here in Kilsyre South. We have come from an auction, a successful auction in Lilydale this morning when we could hardly see the other side of the road, it was so clouded in. And we come to a different climate here in Kilsyre South and it's a beautiful afternoon, a great day to buy real estate. Today's proceedings will take three parts. Firstly, I will go through the particulars of sale. Secondly, a brief description of the property. And third and finally, I will hand the property across to you and wish you all the best for the lucky purchaser here this afternoon. We'll definitely be enjoying living in this fantastic home for the next 10, 15 or 20 years. The particulars of sale are as follows. The vendor's agent is iTrack Real Estate. We are selling four, and on behalf of our vendors, the property described as Lot 18, Plan of Subdivision PS 220739E, Volume 0996, Folio 879, and obviously more commonly known to all of us as 54 Chandra Avenue here in Kilsyre South. The goods and chattels included in today's sale are all fixtures and fittings as inspected of a permanent nature. We are selling obviously by public auction whereby unless you have a previously arranged agreement um, a 10% deposit is required at the fall of the hammer. We can take that in the form of $5,000 initial deposit today and the balance on Mondays if you need to shuffle a bit of money around inside your own bank accounts. And the vendors are offering a very flexible settlement period of no less than 30 days, no more than 90 days at the choice of the highest accepted bidder this afternoon. So you buy the property today, come in and sign a contract and the choice is yours any day from 30 days, no longer than 90 days and you can be moving into this beautiful home. Now the rules of this afternoon's auction are in accordance with the REIV and the Law Institute of Victoria of which I track real estate and members and they are as follows. Subject to the vendor's reserve price, the highest bidder whose bid is accepted by the vendor shall be the purchaser. I, as the auctioneer, will determine the minimum and the maximum which the bidding shall be advanced and no bid once made shall be retracted. If any dispute arises concerning the bidding, I, as the auctioneer, will determine the dispute or resubmit the property to you all at its last undisputed bid. The vendor reserves the right to bid once or more by their auctioneer to refuse any bid or to withdraw the property at any time without necessarily declaring the reserve price. I will indicate bids on request and once you've started bidding, if I'm calling for a number, you can raise your hand or nod your head and I'll take that as a bid. Um, the law prohibits the making of false bids and it does provide substantial fines for anyone attempting others from bidding. We all look very friendly. I've never had a problem at any one of my auctions and certainly don't expect that we'll have any problems this afternoon. The law prohibits the making of vendor bids other than by myself as the auctioneer. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to be very, very clear, a vendor bid is nothing more or nothing less than a counter bid made by the auctioneer on behalf of the vendor to simply keep the bidding moving and suggest that the property will not be sold at a lower figure than the nominated vendor bid. The words I will use uh, when making a vendor bid will be very clear, vendor bid and obviously then the nominated figure and I will ask for your continued bidding from that moment in time. And as I've just said, only I as the auctioneer are allowed to make a vendor bid on behalf of the auctioneer, uh, on behalf of the vendors, sorry. Um, so here we are, beautiful Kilsai South. Um, a suburb that uh, started sprawling in the early 90s, most of the houses in this particular suburb came up in the early to mid 90s. It is a brilliant opportunity to be tucked away, well away from main roads, with a beautiful nature reserve right behind us with walking tracks, etc, etc. You can almost feel like you're living in the country, 
but have all the benefits of living, obviously, in the major metropolis of the outer eastern suburbs of Melbourne. Obviously, I'm sure you're all aware how close Ringwood is from here with uh, the new shopping centre and the millions of dollars they've spent in Ringwood. Obviously, East Link is only minutes down the road and you've also got Knox City and the fantastic new Bayswater Shopping Centre as well. There's some fantastic schools in the area for those people wanting to bring up a family in the next 10 to 15 years and some brilliant sporting facilities, football clubs, cricket clubs and a magnificent golf course just behind us on Liverpool Road, the Eastwood Golf Club. The home itself, well it is a credit to the vendors and the way they've presented it today. The beautiful polished floors uh, in, the, in the back living area give a real country feel to the home. The wood heater, uh, which was actually too warm. We were getting prepared to stack it up for you today, but it got too warm. So imagine a cold winter's night with the wood fire going there will give you a real country feel as well. The home itself, well, the bedrooms are very spacious and there's four of those. There's the master bedroom at the other end of the house just here on the front door, so you can be well away from the kids if you've got a young family. A couple of extras that were, were chosen by the vendor when building this house was an extra high uh, garage door here to, to fit a caravan or a, or a higher utility if need be through the, through the doors here. And you've also got access to the magnificent tradies garage which can store four standard cars, uh, even bigger caravans, etc, etc, down the back there. A boat if you're, if you're into fishing, etc, etc, can all be stored here on the property. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is far too nice an afternoon for me to hold you up any longer than I have to. You're here to buy, we're here to sell. I can absolutely guarantee you our vendors are incredibly realistic with their reserve price. They want to move on with their life, ladies and gentlemen. So the way in which we'll be selling the property today is on a first, second and third call. And when the contract hits my hand like so, the property will deem to be sold. Let me be very clear and transparent. In the state of Victoria, it is illegal for me to entertain a bid from any person after the contract has hit my hand. So if I get to the second call and you are a genuine buyer for this home, I urge you, I encourage you to make your bid very, very clear. Make it known. Ask one of our talented team members to help you if you like. I'm sure they're happy to help out. There's always three possibilities at every auction. The first possibility is we sell it under the hammer, given today's generous reserve price. I believe that is exactly what should happen. But if we don't quite reach the reserve price as a buyer, you all need to know exactly what your rights are. The auctioneer has two choices. They can pass the property into the highest bidder. If that happens, that person has the exclusive opportunity to basically treat the vendor to the reserve price or be the first person to negotiate with the vendor at the exclusion of all other parties. The second choice of the auctioneer is we can take a vendor bid and if we take a vendor bid and pass the property in on a vendor bid, we have the right to negotiate with multiple parties all at the same time and that's where you can have an auction after the auction and people are absolutely distressed because they wish they had a bid and put themselves in control. So ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all the very best. This is a magnificent opportunity for any young couple wanting to raise a family for the next 20 years in what can only be described as a fantastic estate in a beautiful part of the eastern suburbs. So ladies and gentlemen, without any further to do, over to you, start me wherever you like. Where can I see a fair and reasonable start here at 54 Chandra Avenue here in Kilsyce South. Anywhere at all, I'm in your hands, ladies and gentlemen. 630. $630,000. I'll take your bid at six hundred and thirty, Nice and low, but it starts to start. That's $630,000 we've got. I'll ask for a rise of twenty. That's $630,000 I'm clearly bid. That's $630,000. Where can I see six fifty? That's $630,000 clearly bid, could be a quick auction. First call at $630,000. Second call at $630,000. Third, final call at $630,000. Surely not. I'll take a vendor bid, ladies and gentlemen. You all know the range we've been quoting. 
I'll take a vendor bid, and I'm very happy to take a vendor bid to $740,000, and I'll ask for a rise of 10. That's $740,000, let's keep it moving. That's $740,000 looking for 10. That's seven hundred. dollars Seven hundred and fifty. Clearly, I have now. That's seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I've got. That's seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Every one of you should have your hand in the air at this price. That's seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I'm very surprised at the silence. That's seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I'm clearly bid. That's seven hundred and fifty thousand. Looking for ten. First call at seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Second call at seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Third, final call at $750,000. Are we all done? Finished and silent? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a little bit surprised, but bear with me and I'll seek some instructions. I'll be back in a minute. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I think I needed a glass of water more than anything else because I kind of knew what the instructions were. We're very genuine about selling today. I'm going to take one final vendor bid and I'm not going to take another vendor bid. It'll be my last vendor bid at $780,000 and I'll ask for a rise of 10 for the exclusive opportunity to talk to our vendors. Or I'll be happy to pass it in at $780,000 and we know there are multiple parties wanting to talk to us. So if you want to take control of the situation, I will ask for a $10,000 rise. I see value in this house every day of the week and we know there's multiple people wanting to talk to us. At $780,000, clearly with me, vendor bid, and I'll be very happy to pass the property in. I will not be taking another bid. Looking for 790. First call at $780,000 vendor bid. Second call, 780 vendor bid, and the auction will start after the auction. That's okay with me. Take five. I'll take. I'll ta I'm not going to refuse that. I'll take the five to give yourself the right to have the first opportunity with the vendor. There's no further bids, ladies and gentlemen. We have a genuine bid here at $785,000. If there's no further bids, I told you I wasn't taking another vendor bid. I'll stick to my word. But these people now have put themselves in the box seat to be the first people to negotiate with the vendors. That's $785,000. I'll call it three times and be happy to pass the property in. We are so close, ladies and gentlemen. At $785,000, I am absolutely convinced we'll get a sold sign in the next half an hour. So if you are an interested party in this property, be very, very aware that you are letting this slip through your fingers. First call at $785,000. Second call at $785,000. Third and final call at $785,000. Are we all done, finished and silent? Well, thank you very much for your attendance, ladies and gentlemen. I officially pass the property into these bidders to my left. Have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy the sunshine. And we look forward to seeing you at open homes in the future. Thank you very much. <laughs>